Since times immemorial, humans have lived peacefully in the lap of forest. The natural flora provided all the necessities of life. Even today, the tribal communities continue to have the life same style unlike the so-called civilized communities. In every aspect of their life, the surrounding flora and fauna have an important role to play. The tribal communities, particularly the elderly and the experienced, have a great wealth of information about the natural vegetation and their variety of uses. This knowledge is termed as indigenous or traditional knowledge. Indigenous or traditional knowledge is defined as the knowledge, innovations and practices of indigenous and local communities around the world that are still associated with the tribal communities across the country. The area dominated by these communities is underdeveloped and remote areas of the region. This might be one of the reasons that the knowledge is intact even in this era of globalization. With 8.6% of the total population of India, according to a census of 2011, the main concentration of tribal people is the central tribal belt in the middle part of the India and in the northeastern states, with Madhya Pradesh comprising 14.69%, Chhattisgarh 7.5%, Jharkhand 8.29%, Andhra Pradesh 5.7%, Maharashtra 10.08%, Orissa 9.2%, Gujarat 8.55% and Rajasthan with 8.86%. However, they have their presence in all states and union territories. Rajasthan has a sizable tribal population with Bheels and Minas as the chief tribal communities present mainly in the tribal dominated districts such as Banswara and Dungapur. Southern Rajasthan has an ideal combination of the vast forest, the rich flora and indigenous tribal communities scattered in different areas. Vegetation of this region consists of tropical deciduous type of vegetation consisting of trees, herbs and shrubs. Grasses constitute an important group of plants which have diverse uses and characteristics. Grasses vary enormously in size, growth habit and appearance and many are of great economic importance. It is because of their ubiquitous nature, the tribals derive a number of uses and utility products from this humble species. Grasses have ecological and ethno-botanical importance in the region. Behind me, you are seeing the grass land. You are seeing the grass land. The grass land is called 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 the grass land. लाप है इस प्रकार की गासे पारंपरिक रूप से उगती आ रही हैं सदियों से उसका संरक्षण करते हैं कुछ समय बाद इसे दीपाली के आसपास में से कटाई करेंगे और अपने घरों पर चारे का संग्रहण करेंगे ये चारा इनके पशुधन को खिलाने के लिए काम में आता है कुछ लोग उसको बेचते हैं उससे इन आर्थिक रूप से भी लाभ होता है ये लोग शुरू से इन बीड़ों को चरागाहों को सुरक्षित करते हैं और इसमें यहाँ की जैव विविधता का भी समृद्ध होती है इस बीड़ों के साथ साथ में कई प्रकार के वृक्ष और वनस्पतियाँ भी पनपती हैं जो इन लोगों के काम होते हैं जिसका ये औषधिक रूप में उपयोग करते हैं Important grasses in this region are Epluda mutica, Pothriocloa pertusa, Echinocloa colonum, Cetaria glauca, 
Chlorus regatta, Heteropogon contortus, etc. The grasses and the minor millets growing in the region are rich in nutrients and once used to offer a healthy and cheap source of food grain to the tribals. High nutritive value of the grasses and easy availability makes it an ideal food choice. Some of the important ethno food grasses identified in the area include Panicum miliare. The grains of Panicum miliare are cooked like rice, and chapatis are also prepared from the flour of grains. The tribal huts have special grain storage structures which do not require any chemical inputs to preserve the grains. The next grass identified in this region is Cetaria glauca. Grains of this grass are stored in airtight earthen pots by the tribals and used during the scarcity period. One chapati made from the grains of this grass is sufficient to quench the hunger of tribals for the whole day. This species is used just like rice. Grains are boiled and chapatis are also made from it. घर में भी अनाज मक्की पात्रिया और ये शामली मिला करके रोटी मतलब अच्छी आती है इसकी एकदम ककड़ी ककड़ी रोटी आती है खाने में मजा आ जाता है और पुहाड़ की भाजी होती है ना पुहाड़ों की भाजी और ये अपने रोटी उसको मचल दो फिर खाओ और ये सर इसको उल्टा काटा कहते हैं और ये एक से डेढ़ फीट का इतना होता है और इसके जब बीज पक जाते हैं तो उसको पीस कर उसका आटा बना आटा बना के उसकी रोटी बना के अगर खाते हैं हम और एक आध दिन में एक बार भी हमने रोटी खा ली तो पूरे दिन भर एक तो भूख नहीं लगती है और एक सर इसका एक वो है कि ये जो बीज है इसके पके उसको भून के जो देते हैं खिलाते हैं तो जैसे किसी को सर्दी जुकाम हो रहा है कफ हो रहा खांसी हो रही है तो वो सर इससे खत्म हो जाता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल पेनिकम मिलियर कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट ऑफ मॉइस्चर नाइन पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट ड्राई मैटर क्रूड प्रोटीन फोर पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ड्राई मैटर क्रूड फैट थ्री पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट ड्राई मैटर एश एंड हैज एन एनर्जी वैल्यू ऑफ फोर जीरो सेवन सेवन कैलरी पर ग्राम ड्राई मैटर लाइक वाइज सटेरियो ग्लोकर contains moisture 6.2%, 12.13% dry matter crude protein, 4% dry matter crude fat, 2.57% dry matter ash and has an energy value of 4097.2 calorie per gram dry matter. As compared to triticum astivum which has moisture from 8 to 18%, 10 to 16% of dry matter crude protein, 1.5 to 2% dry matter crude fat, 1.2 to 3% dry matter ash and has an energy value of 1337 to 1431 kJ per 100 g the nutritive value of the ethno food grasses reveal that they have enough amount of vitamins and minerals and good energy value dekho patriya hai aur samli mila kar ke jo ekdam zyada dast lag jate to matlab patriya aur samli dono ki roti bana kar ke वो खिलाते तो वो दस्त बंद हो जाते और पशु के लिए भी एक ये दवाई है मतलब जो पातरी ये सामली है वो जो गुड़िया मतलब बेकन आ जाए बेकन बे, उठता नहीं है पशु जो उठ नहीं पाता है तो ये सामली रखी तो दो दिन में पशु खड़ा हो जाएगा इतनी ताकतवर ये सामली है वो आज तक मतलब ये यहाँ हमारे यहाँ करते हैं विथ चेंजिंग टाइम्स एंड ईजी अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ वीट एंड राइस There is a decrease in the cultivation of minor millets in the region. However, the herbs and the shrubs present in their ambient surroundings are still consumed as vegetable by these people. Vegetable is prepared from the young leaves of Cassia tora, 
which is considered very nutritious and is eaten with chapati. Locally, the plant is known as funwat or funvaria. The grasses also have medicinal importance. For example, decoction of roots of Chloris regata is used to treat cough and cold. It is also used to get relief in rheumatism. Southern Rajasthan is also rich in medicinal plants. The tribal communities have rich knowledge about the medicinal properties of the plants growing in their ambient environment. These plants are mostly used in the treatment of common diseases such as cough and cold, fever, diarrhea and injuries and wounds. This is the tree of cutworms and this is the tree. After the tree, it comes like this. Then, after the tree, after the tree, after the एक दिन जो बुखार आता है इसके बीजों को पीस के दिन में तीन बार पिलाने से ये बुखार मिट जाता है और इसका एक उपयोग और भी है इसकी जो पत्तियां है इसको पीस कर दिन में तीन बार या दो बार लगातार पंद्रह दिन तक पीने से पिलिया जो आता होता है वो खत्म हो जाता है मिट जाता है जंगली केला इस ट्री लाइक स्टोलनिफेरस हर्ब इंडेंजर्ड मेडिसिनल प्लांट occurs on inaccessible craters of southern Aravali hills of Rajasthan. 10 ml root juice of Enset Superbum is taken orally by the tribal ladies for 3 to 4 days as contraceptive just before menstruation. Caesarea elliptica, locally known as Munjil, is used as a medicinal plant. The leaves of the plant are dipped in boiled water and removed. Oil is smeared on their surface and then lukewarm leaves are tied locally to cure muscular strains and swellings. Single Life of the tribals revolves much around these ancient practices and series of generations have been following these since ages. The grasses are believed to be serving the tribal communities from cradle to grave. The existing knowledge on this important group of plants is fast eroding. The need is to conserve these species and pave a way towards sustainable development. Today, the grasslands and forests are in a degraded shape due to factors such as deforestation, overgrazing by cattle, construction of roads and urbanization. There is a need to protect the valuable natural capital and the associated traditional lore.